What's up there guys, GowTheCurrent23 back again with another unboxing video and today I'm going to be unboxing a few new special editions exclusive to Zavi in the UK called Diamond Lux Editions and these are re-releases of films but in very nice uh, new kind of new packaging uh, I believe they released, um, I don't think these films but they released um, these kind of editions in the US I think Amazing Spider-Man 2 was one of them and uh, yeah, and I picked up all four from uh, Zavi, uh, but they are exclusive to Zavi. But I don't know kind of how long that that, that exclusivity kind of uh, lasts for. Whether the, whether other places will be selling them as well. But for now, they are exclusive to Zavi. Uh, but first off, before I get on with those, um, I have one that I unboxed earlier. Basically, I got these through the post, and I wanted to kind of see how kind of um, kind of what these editions are like, and give me more of these because they are absolutely gorgeous. And the first one I unboxed was Batman the original 1989 Tim Burton film and then uh, just, it's, uh, it, there's no other way to describe it than it's just very high quality materials high quality artwork uh, high quality pictures just everything is just high quality about this it's I don't know how to describe it but it's, it's very nice and heavy and it's high quality thick plastic I'm not exactly sure what um, kind of plastic it is but it's very thick it's very sturdy and I absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, say so give me more of these. I hope they bring out. I hope they kind of bring out these editions for new films as well, because all all of these films, all these four editions are films from um, kind of uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, but yeah, here is the first one, which is Batman. Got really cool, like high quality. Um, kind of art, uh, I'm just repeating myself now, but I just, it's the best way to describe it, just very high quality. And it's uh, got the Batman. Uh, so it's a bit cut off a little bit, but um, that's not too bad. Then you've got the title Batman, and then the uh, uh, three main stars of it. And then you uh, the spine. Uh, it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit thinner than um, a thin Amore case, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, the only downside is it does scratch uh, quite easily. There's already some scratches on this, but uh, you can only see it in, in uh, certain lights, so it's not too bad. Then you've got really cool artwork on the back with the bat symbol there, kind of over the skyline. And then you've got uh, the credit block. Could have been, uh, it would have been perfect if that wasn't on it, but I do see why they need that. I'm pretty sure it's more or less a legal obligation now. Um, well, could have put it on. The, well, they could have, and they did put it on the J card. And open it up. Really, really cool, uh, cool images there of the Joker and Batman on either side. And it, you kind of see in the middle, it's kind of shiny, uh, but it, it, it does kind of look metal, but it's not. Um, but yeah, they've got the Joker, again, just high quality, then you open it up, it's got a really cool continuing artwork on the uh, on the inside, and the two discs. Uh, now the first disc includes, uh, includes a film, and all the, special, all the special features included on the uh, regular Amore edition and the Steelbook. Uh, basically every uh, UK release of this film that has, has been thus far. And the second disc is a new special feature called, and I'll get the J card here, called um, uh, Batman The Birth of a birth of the modern blockbuster. Uh, see how innovative marketing created a powerhouse franchise that set the standard for today's smash hits. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they could have fit this could have fit this onto the, the first disc, because uh, I believe I have read it's only about a, like a 25 minute documentary. Um, it's just kind of to kind of bolster the fact that they can say it's a two disc edition, even though the second disc only has one special feature on it. But it is brand new, I believe, to this release. Uh, I don't know if it's been released anywhere before, but it's, uh, I believe it's new to the UK anyway. And you've got the uh, regular uh, uh, kind of uh, info about the film and everything you've, you've seen before. So yeah, they could have been on one disc really, but um, it's nice what it is. And it's uh, created by a place called uh, Neo. Uh, I believe they're called kind of Neo. I, d I think kind of, uh, kind of Diamond, Diamond Lux edition. Uh, the name Diamond Lux is just kind of like a, a general term for these, but I think they are called like, a, a, they are kind of like an, an official called something official uh, so yeah that's one I unboxed earlier like I said and then I have uh, three more packages here so yeah let's get straight on with it so uh, yeah one actually no I'll, I'll, uh, I won't spoil that for anyone who hasn't heard it, uh, who hasn't uh, who aren't aware of these editions but they are very very nice I hope like I say I hope they release kind of new films with these and the next one is the green mile I can now flog my Amore version of this very very nice again indeed same as on the uh, same artwork as on the um, the US Digibook edition so uh, yeah get straight into it uh, I won't talk kind of too much about the editions now because I've kind of explained it all with the Batman one but um, if I can get into this uh, easy enough so I can get the camera there 
Yeah, so they all come with J cards, and they all come kind of like really nice artwork. So yeah, there's the front again, really again high quality, and then the uh, kind of the J card comes off easy enough. Uh, special features. You've got Walking the Mile extended version, uh, join filmmaker Frank Darabont, star Tom Hanks, author Stephen King and a mouse named, uh, named Mr Jingles on their two year journey to make an epic drama The Green Mile. And it's an exclusive first person documentary feature shot on location in Tennessee, North Carolina and California. And also commentary with uh, writer director Frank Darabont and more. I think they are the same special features of the Amaray edition, I'm pretty sure but not 100%, uh, it's, well, actually, no, actually, the Batman, the J card on the Batman one was stuck on with, um, um, kind of those little circle things of sellotape, but this one is, uh, is glue, which I'm, again, not really a big fan of, hopefully it'll come off easy enough, uh, so, yeah, but yeah, they're just, oh, they're just really nice, it's, it, 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 it feels better in hand than it does on camera, on camera it looks good, but in hand it looks very, very good, uh, yeah, I think that's just a bit of glue. That no, yeah, it's just a bit of glue. So I thought it had damage on there, but yeah, that would be easy to easy enough to get off. But again, really nice artwork on the front of it, and on the back, really cool. Oh, I like that. I do really do like that. And then you open it up, and then you got uh, Tom Hanks and Margaret Clark Duncan, and then you open it up again, and ooh, very very cool indeed. Uh, it's not quite as continuing as a Batman one, but very nice anyway. Got the Green Mile, got movie and special features. And then you got the Green Mile uh, additional special feature, which is the, uh, how long is it, two hour did it say? Uh, no, no, I don't know, I don't say how long it is, but that's what it is. Uh, yeah, really cool artwork though, now that, that's really fucking cool. And then you got Mark Clark Duncan, or, uh, yeah, Mark Clark Duncan uh, on the other side. So yeah, again, another very nice addition. And uh, yeah, so that was the Green Mile. I'm going to kind of unbox these kind of quicker now, I think, because, uh, like I say, I don't really need to see, say more about it, really. It's, it's what I've already explained. And the next one is... Aha, one, a film I've never seen. It is Gone with the Wind. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's kind of won Oscars, I believe. And, uh, yeah, let's get this one open. I believe it's quite long as well. I'll have to check on the back how long it is. And that's easy enough to get off. So yeah, you've got a the that's really got kind of like a like a, a ghostly look to it. It's kind of like ethereal, which is very, very nice. Then you got uh you get the main characters on the front there, so I cannot think of the names. Uh yeah, I believe it's quite long, yeah, 233 minutes, which is at least three and a half hours. Whew. Uh yeah. So I'm not gonna be watching this one in a hurry to be honest, but uh Really nice addition to have. So again, this one is yeah stuck on with glue. Like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, this glue. I don't think anybody is, to be quite honest. Oh, there we go. I tried, yeah, I was going to say uh, not take the J card off, but I might as well. So yeah, there is Gone with the Wind, uh, Rhett Butler, and I cannot think of what the other uh, character's name is. And you've got the credit block on the bottom there. And then we have the two characters on either side of the uh, kind of the fold out. And then you have the um, again continuing artwork. And we have oh god, <laughs> that didn't sound good. That uh, there we have Gone with the Wind the movie. That didn't sound good either. And Gone with the Wind special features. And that is really really nice. I'll zoom out a bit there if I can. No, that's about as far as it'll go. But yeah, really really nice artwork. That's kind of continuing across the whole thing, but very very nice indeed. And I think this is the uh, the recent release. I think it was like, was it 75th anniversary, I believe. So yeah, there's a Gone with the Wind. Uh, yeah, what special features have you got on here? We have um, Disc One, which is the uh, the film plus commentary by historian Rudy Belmer. Uh, new special, yeah, so yeah, for 75th, yeah, so this is the 75th anniversary edition, which is which came which was released recently. Um, Old South slash New South. Journey through today's south and revisit the real-life location depicted in the film. From Gettysburg to Atlanta to New Orleans and see how the old south continues to influence the region today. And Gone with the Wind, Hollywood comes to Atlanta, premiere and tour of Atlanta footage. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, uh, kind of past releases had more special features or not, because I've kind of I've never owned this film. But, um, 
He's good. For, I mean, the, the the next one in this in this unboxing as well is one of I've, I've never seen and never owned, and it's uh, nice to kind of have like it, it, I mean th for this it, for this edition to be the first kind of release I've had of this film is very very nice. And then the last uh, last edition in this unboxing. So it's been quite arduous. This I'm just not on form today very well, as you probably uh, referenced already. Uh, yeah, and the last one is uh, Gremlins. Yep, yeah, never seen this film. I just haven't got round to it. Again, got the uh, yeah so special features. You've got um, if I can focus. Uh, cute, clever, mischievous, mischievous, intelligent, and dangerous, making Gremlins. Uh, yeah, you can kind of pause that if you want. Uh, from Gizmo to Gremlins, uh, creating the creatures. Uh, two motion comics from the 1984 Gremlins books and more. So I think basically um, all the special features from uh, every other edition of this film. Then we've got uh, all the uh, the info and stuff. You can kind of look on websites or say it's exactly the same as the kind of other uh, releases of this of this film. And yep. Yeah. So yes, yeah, stuck on with glue again. God, I wish they'd kind of stop chopping and changing. I'll have a, have them all with glue or all with set or all with. Uh, or with tape, so I don't have some uh, some with and some without. Uh, uh, that better not be damaged. I think it's just kind of glue. Yeah, it's just glue. That'll come off easy enough. So this is really, really interesting. It's got kind of like um, like a, a mirror to it with the uh, the shadow of um, of Gizmo. Uh, I think that's Gizmo anyway. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. It's white, but it's got so it's got a kind of mirrored effect on it as well. And on the back, got a really cool, uh, I believe, a shot from the film, I'm guessing. And the credit block on the bottom. And then open it up, we have uh, Zach Galligan and uh, Gizmo. And then open it up again, we have uh, Gizmo again. And whatever that one is. <laughs> I, know one of the, I know one of them is called Mogwai, and, um, mainly because of the uh, Electronica band. Um, <laughs> I know the name of that. That's a movie and special features. And uh, disc two is our bonus special features. Oh, kind of pop those over there. So yeah, oh that is really really cool. This is probably the best inside artwork so far, I think. It's really dark. It's got some nice kind of reddish tint to it. Very very nice indeed. So that has been my unboxing of the Zavi exclusive uh, Diamond Lux editions. Like I said before, give me more of these because these are absolutely amazing. Go high quality materials brilliantly made with some really cool artwork uh, we don't lose any of the special features we even gain some special features it's including the batman one uh, so yeah gonna pop these over here uh, so we pan up a little bit yeah so that was it so yeah i highly recommend getting these films obviously if you're not a fan of the films in general there's no need for you to do so but um, and they might come down in price um, kind of sooner or later. But like I said, I didn't pay full price for these because I, I had a code. So I believe they're like fourteen something each, which um, yeah is, is good. Uh, yeah, but I say, like I said before, I hope they bring out um, uh, these editions for new films as well. I'd love to see that, uh, but I don't think they will. To be honest, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of a cash grab, but um, it's a cash grab that is that is worth it because they are very very nice. And I highly recommend getting them. So, uh, oh man, I'm spent. So yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll put I shall put a link to um, the purchase link. I'll put the purchase link down in the description box for these from Zavi.com. And yeah, that'll about do from me. So thanks as always for watching, and have a great day.